It's me, Jimmy. How's Dad? Oh, he lost ten pound in the Grand National? Five pound in the race and another five pound on the action replay? <laughs> Listen, oh, he's got a job. My dad's got a job. He works for a firm called Push because it says so on the door. Oh. <laughs> what? You went to the Bali for the first time and you sat right at the front, yeah? And you couldn't hear a word they said. <laughs> Mum, you're not supposed to. Oh, Dad embarrassed you. Yeah, during the ballet, he took his sandwiches out. <laughs> and later on in the restaurant, he embarrassed you even more. He drank the finger bowl. <laughs> um, well, listen, Mum, there's the pips. I have to go now. Bye. <laughs> Look at that, look. I work for the BBC. The Bally Go Backwards Bally Company. Look at that, look. And there's more, look. You see, doing Bally, folks, is giving me this great physique. I've got a great physique. Next neat week, I'll bring it with me. You see, if I took all my clothes off now, you'd probably say to yourself, I must get some meat for the dog on the way home. I remember this Bally I did. Yeah. It was by Tchaikovsky. He didn't like it. He didn't turn up once. <laughs> it was Swan Lake, but a Swan Lake with a difference. In this one, the swan got better. <laughs> I remember it was late starting. It took me two hours to get the tights on over my wellies. <laughs> and these two fellas had me, and they threw me across the stage, and another two fellas used to grab me. Right, one night the two fellas threw me across, and the two fellas that were supposed to catch me went for their tea. <laughs> Finished up in the street. And a woman ran over. She said, what happened? I said, I don't know. I just got here myself. <laughs> and the director ran out. He said, are you dead? I said, yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't. <laughs> he said, you're such a liar. I don't know whether to believe you or not. <laughs> I said, I'm okay, sir. The ground broke my fall. <laughs> he said, do you want a glass of water? I said, I thought I'll have to be thrown before I get a bottle of Guinness. <laughs> And tonight in my program is a man who crossed Basil Brush with a bowl of prunes and got the foxtrots. <laughs> oh, family's stupid, you know. Even the dog in our family's daft, honestly. Every time the doorbell rings, he's first there, and it's never for him. <laughs> Just once I'd like somebody to ring the bell and say, is Bonzo coming out to play? <laughs> Things are looking terribly bad for the royals. They're feeling the pinch. And they're looking at a new scheme under which when you get your knighthood, you can have your ears pierced cheaply at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. But later in the programme, I'll be taking a hard look at Nicholas Parsons. Should they be forced to wear something under their cassocks? <laughs> like a friend of mine, he's very clever. He crossed a friendly vampire with the TSB. And now that he's got a blood bank that likes to say yes. 